a non-profit organization that is challenging norms and paradigms in Liari since 2004. Her efforts have garnered her several recognitions and awards, Sitara Mthyas, in 2020, being the most prestigious one. She was elected as one of Pond's Miracle Women in 2016 and received the IM Karachi Pride Award. She was recently also given the Academia Choice Award by the Olsen Private Schools and Colleges Association. Her work was featured in Ho Yakin, a documentary series by Oscar winner Sharmin Obeid Chanoy. She also serves as an executive board member at HANS, a non-profit organization working under the leadership of Dr. Rafar Bilo. She was also welcomed as a board member at Moavin Foundation working under the leadership of Admira Asif Sandela in the areas of Punjab, Gilgit, and Baltistan. The Honorable Chief Guest, Ms. Sabina Khatri, I request you to please present the convocation address. Jazakallahu uh, khair. This is a very, very uh, meaningful moment for me. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Respected Chancellor, Professor Dr. Ghulam Qadir, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ahmed Waliullah Qazi, Founding Director, Dr. Muhammad Saleh Maimon, Director of Isra Islamic Foundation, Professor Dr. Hamidullah, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Umar Qazi, Dean, Registrar, Controller of Examinations, Esteemed Leaders, Faculty and Staff of Isra University, Honored family members of the graduates, distinguished guests, and above all, the members of the class 2023. Can we have a big round of applause for them from everyone? I've been waiting to hear this clapping for them. Even more, a little bit more, please. Well done. <laughs> well done, well done. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to everybody. Today is a profoundly emotional moment for me as I stand before you. It's, it's very, very emotional for me right now. As I stand before you at the prestigious Istra University where my esteemed mentor once served as the pro vice chancellor and a founding member of Istra University. Dr. Ghulam Hussain Siddiqui. May Allah Paak be pleased with him and grant him the highest darajat in Jannah. Amin. Was not only my reality check and a spiritual guide, but also my beloved uncle. He was very proud of me and loved me just like a father. To be here is more meaningful than I can put in words. His absence today is deeply felt, yet being here holds an indescribable significance for me. My sweet sister and his daughter, Habiba is sitting in front of me, and I know that her heart is full right now. She has been my role model throughout my growing years. May Allah Pa give you sabre jameel. Amen. I'm privileged to be present here today to witness your graduation from the prestigious Isra University, an achievement that many crave for, but a very few are able to attain. It is truly an honor to address the distinguished graduates of this esteemed institute, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak to the future leaders of our society. Reflecting on the concept of leadership, we often envision individuals who are at the forefront, guiding others and taking decisions. However, true leadership, in my experience, lies in being in the center of everything and everyone they can unite. Today, 
I have been honored to be the chief guest as, at this prestigious ceremony due to some leadership role that people believe I possess. But my children, I want to address you as a mother today. The true self that I am. Recognizing the inherent leadership that every mother possesses. Motherhood, being the most profound institute of all, symbolizes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's boundless compassion for us. Each one of us has been brought into this world by a mother, the foundation for our mere existence. Allow me to share two deeply personal stories of my life that have shaped my sense of motherhood. When I was eight years old, I experienced the heart-wrenching separation of my mother. It was a separation that lasted until I was 19 years old and married. The absence of my mother during my formative years left a profound void in my heart. Despite the presence of other mother figures in my life, no one could fill that void. This separation created a deep wound in my heart, a wound that I carried with me for many years. In addition to the pain of separation, I also faced the shattered dream of becoming a doctor. Coming from a family of medical professionals, it was naturally expected that I would follow in their footsteps and pursue a career in medicine. However, the path shattered in a very young age. This disappointment and loss of my dream created another wound in my heart, adding to the pain of the separation of my mother. And then, one day, I discovered a book of quotes of Maulana Rumi, and the first page of that book read, it's the wound where the light enters. And the supreme big plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fell upon me as the best revelation ever. These wounds didn't happen without a purpose. Those holes within my heart were meant for the light to enter, guiding me towards a deeper understanding of my life's purpose. All the lonely moments were opportunities for me to be in my own personal ghare hira and ponder over the meanings of all the trials of my life. Through introspection and inner reflection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped me to discover that every setback and wound was an opportunity for growth and transformation. It was through these experiences that I found my calling in serving the neglected and vulnerable children, helping lost mothers find worth within themselves and turning my wounds into sources of strength and compassion. Today, I'm addressed as mom by 2,000 children and their parents and their grandparents. And I'm witnessing their universities since three years too. One even being a graduate of ISRA University of Vision Sciences from Leari. The wounds are still there, but they don't hurt anymore. My dear graduating children, I have shared such vulnerable parts of my life with you because I believe that as a human, we derive strength from, every, from each other's stories. Only Allah Pak gives us the strength to be vulnerable or else we are extremely weak. As you, the graduates of Isra University, embark on a new chapter of your life, I urge, I urge you to connect with your inner self. 
heed the callings of your heart and seek your true purpose. Start this intrinsic journey today. Today or never, you won't do it otherwise. Start it today. Start hearing your inner voices from today. Find your little Ghare Hira within you where you can be alone with yourself and you can ponder over all the life struggles that you've gone through, all the life's privileges that have been given to you. Nothing happens without a reason. There's always a bigger purpose behind it. As you, the graduates of Israel University, embark on this new chapter, carry a big smile on your face and feel the gratitude within you. If you start this intrinsic journey today, I can promise you, you will never regret it. The world inside you is much bigger than the world outside you. And that is where you will truly find gratitude. Your excellent education, coupled with the support of your loved ones here, has equipped you to make a meaningful impact on the world around you. I have faith in the youth of Pakistan and believe that each one of you possess boundless potential. Embrace this journey of self-discovery and strive to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Today, as you become the alumni of this prestigious university, remember to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and repeat to yourself every day, I want to make a difference. Can we repeat it together? I want to make a difference. Louder. And rest assured, the difference will find you. Congratulations once again to all of you and thank you for being so patient with me. Jazakallah.